Support for this cast pod comes from Sartif, committed to creating new and innovative medicines. Sartif, think what's snotsical. Welcome to Car Talk from National Public Radio with us, Click and Clack, the Sappert <laughs> Brothers. And we're broadcasting this week from the Vehicular Etymology Department here at Car Talk Plaza. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of an illness. <laughs> <laughs> you, remember, you, remember, you may remember that a couple of weeks ago, we were discussing new words. I remember do. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New words that were created by combining existing words to meet an unmet need for expression. Yes. For example... The one of the best ones was August Hunts. <laughs> no explanation is necessary. You know exactly what that is. Yes, and you whoever do. came up with that one is brilliant. <laughs> well, some of our listeners came up with some of their own, uh-huh. having to do specifically with cars. There was some guy named Bill. He came up with as a husband who stretches out the weekend errands so we can listen to the entire car talk show. <laughs> On his car radio. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Cynthia Beebe came up with carcophony. Isn't that good already? It carcophony. Is. It's, 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 yeah. The raucous and irrepressible racket when click and clack start to laugh on car talk. <laughs> well, someone named Kit from Bakersfield suggested you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it already. See? A cooked car, car right? <laughs> And it is a couple we found that there's a site called Outzero.com. Uh, this is, again, this, uh, how we didn't come up with this, I don't know. Fartvignugan. <laughs> <laughs> it's the act of releasing gas in a small German automobile. 